growing up in Allen Benedict Court, raised by a single mother. <laughs> That's my family over there. <laughs> boy growing up in Allen Benedict Court, raised by a single mother. He graduated from AC Flora with no plan. Can you believe it? No plan. Didn't know what he would do next. Thank God for the mentor in his life and all the mentors for the role you play in speaking life and hope into students. With a push from a mentor, my dad decided to attend the Benedict College. <laughs> The rest is history. How are the children? It didn't matter if it was 6 a.m., 9 p.m., 3 a.m. If he received a call about a student or anyone needing support, let me tell you something. He was going to answer that call, he was going to get out of bed, and he was going to figure it out. And I mean, consistent. It didn't matter if we had to be somewhere at 1 p.m. If someone called at 12.55, he'd say, hold on, Robin. And I knew to hold on. And he was a model of doing what was right for people and stepping in for people at every moment. Even um, during his last days, still, still showed up in that way. In fact, there was a colleague that I worked with at City or Columbia she transitioned from a service role into a teaching role. And uh, we, we kept the relationship and one day she called me and began talking about just the struggle, the transition from being a four member to going into the classroom and she struggled. And I, of course, <laughs> don't have much experience, but what I did say was, I can talk to my dad about this. I could possibly share some words with you from my dad, and she was open to that. I told my dad, and he said, I'll be there tomorrow. He actually went to her classroom that next day, and if I had told him in time, he would have been there that day, but he showed up for her. And the day after my dad passed away, she sent me a message reminding me of that story, but that's the kind of man that Vince Ford was. Dad, the children are better because of your commitment to them. The leaders of children are more equipped to lead because of how you model excellence. And because of your work, your brand, your heart for service to this city, this district, and these communities we call home, your legacy will outlive all of us. It brings me great pride to stand before you um, and to stand in front of where this learning center will be. Uh, and also it brings me great pride to know that the Fords of 2075 will be able to stand right here in front of this school and honor the legacy of our patriarch. To the Richland One School Board, um, also wanna pause to acknowledge our Commissioner Harris and being here showing up for your brother despite, we thank you. Colleagues, friends, and family, too many names to name, and I'll feel horrible <laughs> if I forget. So all of you, all of you who advocated for my dad, who showed up in his life, who showed up, continue to show up in his passing, we thank you. Thank you for advocating for our real life hero today and every day. Because of you all, we stand here today in honor of the greatest man I've ever known. I also want to uh, share with some of you, some of you may have already seen it, there will be a legacy luncheon on my dad's birthday, March 18th, um, that we are planning behind the scenes and would love to see these faces in that space. Um, the public promo will be beginning soon, so keep your eyes out for that. And we have also started a fund in my dad's honor with the intention of starting a foundation to support this community, to support this school, and to continue his work. <clears throat> How are the children? Dad, 
your baby girl is better and stronger because of you. And a love like ours will never be forgotten. And, and before we walk away, I do want to acknowledge that today is my mom's birthday. Aww. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but we, we thank you for making this special day on a special day. Um, and I know my dad would have been pleased. And, and dad, whatever you're doing right now, wherever you are, know that you are with us um, although all of us I know it and believe it want you to be here right now sitting right there we feel your presence and the students of this learning center will feel your presence I will make sure that they will not only know the name of the school because it is your name but they will know about you says something to me, and we've often talked to Vince and I together, and I remember one conversation. Vince and I were together, and he came up, and he says, guys, let me tell you, you're going to be judged by two things, how you honor and what you do for those who pave the way for you and your senior citizens and others. You will also be judged by what you plan and what you do. Those who not only paved the road for you to be where you are, but those who would one day take your place. These children one day will take our place. Thank you, District 1. I'm Leon Lott, and Vince Ford is my friend. And we may have come from different mothers, but we were brothers. And as Monique Scott and Pastor Jackson say, God is good. God is good because look at this weather. I know the district is all worried about there being rain today. God made sure we don't have no rain today. Amen. This is Vince is making the God's day. Vince is looking down with a big smile on his face. There is absolutely no doubt. Vince was a lot of things, a husband, a father, a friend of all of ours, but he also was a champion for the children, a champion for the children who would fight you if you said anything bad about a child in Richland 1. And I don't mean just words now, he'd fight you. Some of his friends in this room and out here will tell you that. He didn't cross it when it came to those children, and like you said, he cared about them and he loved them. Y'all may have been his biological children, but I'm going to tell you now, the children of Rich and Ryan are all his children. Every one of them. Is not bad. He cared for them and he loved them. And he loved them 
dearly, and he would do anything that he could to make sure that they got an education because he knew how valuable their education was. Today, today we're doing something special because we're cheering on his name and his legacy. And long after all of us are gone, there's going to be children that's going to come to this center, and they're going to know who Vince Ford is. And I think that's important that we don't forget those who laid the foundation for others. He has done that, and he is continuing to do that. It doesn't stop just because of his physical, you know, not here. He may not be here physically. He is up there, and he's still leading and guiding us and telling us what to do. And he told us to make this place, and he made it happen. And that's what Rich and Warren has done. And so thank you all, Rich and Warren, for doing that and putting that man's name on this building because he earned it. He earned it with those phone calls that he answered. He earned it for those kids that he fought for. He earned it every single day, the service that he gave. So I am honored to call him my friend, call him my brother. And he is looking down with a smile on his face. He's got some tears of joy that are falling also. So God bless you for cheering on his legacy. God bless every, all of y'all for being here today. Because we are honoring a very special man. So thank you. Amen. Today's celebration, of course, is great, but oh, what a celebration we'll have when we cut the ribbon to this beautiful building, won't we? And we certainly look forward to that. I want to, uh, before I ask Dr. Witherspoon to come up and give closing remarks, I want to uh, recognize just a few of the people who made today possible and helped us coordinate and organize things and work through logistics. Uh, of course, our board chairwoman, Mrs. Cheryl Harris, please give her another hand. And Dr. Witherspoon, Dr. Witherspoon, I'm sorry, please give him a hand as well. Then I'd like to recognize several departments who worked on today's ceremony. Um, our security and emergency services team. Our facility services team, theater services, movement services, and my staff in communication. <laughs> Thank you all so much and everybody else who played a hand in today's event. At this time, please welcome Dr. Witherspoon. First of all, with this Early Learning Center, and, and we certainly do appreciate all the remarks uh, that, is, uh, that have been given, we could certainly echo uh, those. And, and, and someone made a comment of coming up and said, you all did this pretty quickly. But if you listen to the planning and things that were going on, and I too want to give credit to, to, to this board, this has been years in the making. Literally years in the making. From strategic planning to look at where, where our students are even before they get to us. Because there's those formative years before students even cross our doors. It's, it's, it's 3K, 4K, uh, and, and, and kindergarten. So this has been a work in progress for a long time. And of course, uh, this was for his uh, thoughts were there going back to when he was on this board. And, 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 and if you, you talk about data and those types of things, our students have a path and they have a journey before they even get to us. And it's incumbent on us as a community to make sure that path is, is free and clear and having those, those tools and skills before they get to our door. As one of our speakers uh, uh, said, yeah, that's how we're judged, not only of the school district, but that's how we're judged as a community. Mm -hmm. 
what do we do if we talk about the least of these? Well, our young folks, they are the least of, of these. So don't think for, for any second, this, you know, this was done on a whim. Uh, this took time. In Providence having it, we could get funds available and we moved this forward. So I appreciate all of that work. So please don't take that lightly. And we're looking forward, so forward, to the young people that come through here. And that will take our place. So it's part of, again, history in the making and, and planting those seeds, sowing those seeds, so these next generations uh, can do even better than we do. Then to the Ford family, uh, put this question out here. So what's in a name? And I think everyone here this morning has a Vince Ford story. <laughs> I have a few myself. <laughs> and one of the interesting things is, and Dr. Epps says this all the time, Vince probably wouldn't want his name on anything. He was about the work. Was about the young people in this district. He was, he was about the adults in this district as well. But certainly to grace this facility with his name, Senator Jackson, there's a lot in there. Amen. And that our young people will hear about, learn about his contributions, and they will go on to do great things themselves. So for us to be a part of that, is a blessing. And again, I can't say enough about our board of commissioners, for their insight, for their vision, for their hope for a brighter future for our young people, a brighter future for our community. So thank you all for being here. We will continue this journey and path in Richland more for the sake of our young people. So we all can answer that question. Thank you all so very much again for being here, for being a part of this groundbreaking. Don't leave, we got some uh, other activities to, uh, uh, to do to commemorate uh, this morning. And as Ms. York said, see you in a couple of years. <laughs> we open these doors and welcome the young people here. Thank you all so very much. And thank you to the Ford family for sharing this. for the groundbreaking ceremony. I do want to mention, uh, of course, I knew Mr. Ford a long time as well, um, and he, of course, was instrumental in several monumental initiatives uh, in the district, uh, including our um, facility programs, bond programs uh, over the years. And I'd like to note that if you look at the golden shovel uh, to my right, hard hat that was Mr. Ford's hard hat prior to the 1996 bond project. So that's in memory of him as well. Okay, at this time I'd like to ask our board members, Dr. Witherspoon and the Ford family, if you would come forward and take places behind the shovel here. And we have hard hats for you. And I'd also like to give uh, the members of the media and my team um, a second, if you would like to come up so you can get positioned to capture that moment. Um, we'll give you just a few minutes to do that as well.
again, thank you to everyone for joining us this morning. Thank you so much.